What will happen if Turkey activates its S-400 missile system? Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan recently confirmed that the Russian air missile defense system is being tested. And this could only mean one thing. Turkey wants to make them operational as soon as possible. The S-400 is one of the most sophisticated surface-to-air missile systems in the world. It has a range of 400 kilometers and can shoot down up to 80 targets simultaneously, including low-flying drones, aircraft at various altitudes, and long-range missiles. A battery placed on the Turkey-Syria border can engage targets as far as Damascus. The S-400 also allows Turkey to cover all of the Aegean and the Eastern Mediterranean. From the get-go, however, one country has strongly objected to Turkey's purchase of the Russian defense system. In the face of strenuous American objections, the first delivery of an advanced Russian air defense system. We are against the um, having some of our partners and allies around the world uh, potentially purchase S-400s. Lead to potential sanctions. Or doesn't want to risk the security of that partnership. President Erdogan has slammed this as a double standard because Turkey's neighbor and fellow NATO member Greece operates an older version of the Russian defense system, the S-300. But no howls from Washington over that. By the way, Greece has S-300s. They're not testing, they are using them. Does America ask or say anything there? No. How can we not test these kinds of capabilities we have? Of course we aren't going to ask America for permission. Turkey is a key NATO member and one of the most important allies of the US in a volatile region where, let's be honest, defence is not just a policy but a necessity. And when Turkey needed to do some defence spending, naturally their first choice was their NATO ally. He wanted to buy our Patriot missile, we wouldn't sell it. And then when he made a deal, and he really wanted to buy it, and then when he made a deal with another country, Russia, to buy their system that he didn't even want. President Barack Obama's administration refused to sell the US Patriot missile defense system to Turkey because of technology transfer concerns. And in 2015, over Ankara's objections, Obama pulled out Patriot missiles stationed in southern Turkey, saying they were no longer needed there. As a result, Ankara signed a deal with Moscow to buy its S-400 surface-to-air missile batteries for a reported $2.5 billion. After the purchase, there were calls for sanctions in the US, and questions were raised about Turkey's role in NATO. The cooperation that uh, NATO uh, has with an important ally, uh, 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 Turkey, runs much deeper than the question of the Russian S-400 system. Turkey says it would not pose a threat to the alliance and that it had a sovereign right to purchase weapons of its choosing. And the Trump administration remains sympathetic, pushing back against efforts by lawmakers who wanted to punish Ankara. Even though there were no sanctions imposed, the US stopped supplying Turkey with the F-35 fighter jets. Turkey wants to buy an S-400 missile defense system from Russia. It also wants to buy F-35 US fighter jets. The Trump administration says it can't have both. We are now telling Turkey that because you have really been forced to buy another missile system, we're not going to sell you the F-35 fighter jets. As things stand, the second largest army in NATO is about to deploy the S-400s in a neighborhood that is engulfed by terrorism, multiple wars, and now maritime disputes. If the US won't supply the goods, Turkey has to look elsewhere.